This video demonstrates four ways to calculate the current and voltage for simple diode circuits. Here's a simple circuit with a 5 volt DC source, one 220 ohm resistor, and one forward bias diode. Let's calculate the voltage across the diode and the current through it. A diode is a nonlinear device and its characteristics are described by an exponential equation. The first method of analysis uses this exponential equation for the current through a diode. IS is the saturation current, which is usually in the range of a few femtoamps to a few picoamps. E is Euler's number. This is the E to the X button on your calculator. N is the ideality factor. Its value is close to 1 for integrated circuit diodes and close to 2 for discrete diodes. VT is the thermal voltage. It varies with temperature. At 25 degrees C, it's about 26 millivolts. For this particular diode, the saturation current is 1 picoamp. The ideality factor is 1 and the thermal voltage is 26 millivolts. But the resulting equation still has two unknown variables, the diode current and the diode voltage. Another equation is necessary. A second equation for the diode current can be created using Ohm's law. The current through the diode is equal to the current through the series resistor. Divide the voltage across this resistor by its value of 220 ohms to calculate this current. Now we have two equations and two unknowns. You may be tempted to set them equal to each other, resulting in one equation and one unknown. But in this case it won't help. The result is a transcendental equation that is nearly impossible to solve using algebra. Instead, the numerical method of using iteration can be used to home in on the solution. The first iteration begins with a guess for the diode's voltage. In this example, the first guess is 0.6 volts. The resulting current from the first equation is 10.5 milliamps. The second equation produces 20 milliamps. They aren't even close, which means the guess was wrong. Let's increase the diode's voltage in the first equation to raise the resulting current. Plugging 0.62 volts into the first equation gives us 22.7 milliamps. The same voltage in the second equation results in 19.9 milliamps. The two currents are getting closer, but now the first one is a little too high. Let's reduce our diode voltage to bring it down a little closer to the second current. Iterating a third time, with a diode voltage of 0.618 volts, gives currents of 21.0 milliamps and 19.9 milliamps. The difference is only about 5%. In this example, that will be considered close enough. The diode voltage obtained using this method is 0.618 volts and the diode current is 21 milliamps. If you needed even more accuracy, you could keep iterating until the required accuracy was achieved. Although quite accurate, this method is time consuming. We can simplify the analysis if we approximate the diode's characteristics with a linear model. The simplest of these linear models is called the ideal diode model. It behaves like an open switch for a reverse bias diode and like a closed switch for a forward bias diode. To use it, replace the diode with its model a closed switch in this case. No voltage drops across the switch. That means all 5 volts drop across the 220 ohm resistor in series with the diode. The current through the ideal diode is 22.7 milliamps. It was quick and easy to use this simple diode model, but the resulting analysis isn't very accurate. The constant voltage model provides a more accurate analysis. This model includes a voltage drop of 0.6 volts across the forward bias diode. Analysis begins with substituting the circuit's diode with the constant voltage model. 
It is an ideal diode in series with an opposing voltage of 0.7 volts. With 0.7 volts across the diode, only 4.3 volts drop across the 220 ohm resistor. This gives us a current of 19.6 milliamps. This model is almost as fast as the ideal diode model, but it's much more accurate. It is, in fact, the most commonly used diode model. An even more accurate diode model is the piecewise linear model. It includes an ideal diode in series with an opposing turn-on voltage, called V0, and the resistance of the diode's silicon body, called RB. As before, the model replaces the actual diode in the circuit to be analyzed. In this example, the turn-on voltage is 0.5 volts and the diode's body resistance is 5 ohms. The diode current is equal to the resistor's current. The total voltage across the resistor divided by its value of 220 ohms gives us 20.5 milliamps. The voltage across the diode is equal to its turn-on voltage plus the voltage across its resistance of 5 ohms. This is 0 0.603 volts. Although this is the most accurate of the linear models, the actual turn-on voltage and body resistance are rarely known. This table compares the calculated values of voltage and current using each of the four methods described. Remember, the constant voltage model is the one normally used and will be the default model used in this course.